Hello, this is Brio of Brio She Productions, Brio She87 on YouTube, and today I'm going to show you how I made the Guy Gas effect. Now, um, I've already opened up Swift and Pinnacle. I'm not going to show you how to open them up because if you don't know how to open up programs, then you have some serious issues to work out. Okay, so anyways, here's Swift 3D, and I have opened up the Ronald McGuigas inside the Devil's Machine scene. Just to show you, here's what you originally seen in the movie, and here's what you see in the default camera. Um, just to show you what it looks like offset without all the little knickknacks and whatnot. But anyways, uh, for this I just use a basic geosphere, and for these I just use this little bracelet thingy that I always it, it has a name, but I just call it the bracelet thingy. But anyways, um, and I just added textures to it. You can add whatever you want; it doesn't matter. But, um, you know, if you want to look more like Ronald McGuigas, then you're going to want to use the textures that sort of look like Ronald McGuigas. I just made this in Fireworks, and I copied this image off of Google and edited it a little bit and just slapped it on there. And then just used mesh morphing for the patterns and whatnot to move it around. So uh, once you get all that together, it'll kind of look something like this. And you just kind of group it all together in the same spot. See, here's all the little rings. And then you had the uh, geosphere right there in the middle. But I kept that separate so that way the background will move. But this won't move at all. So I gave that a little simple animation. Just to, you know, have it sort of move. See, it just moves up and then down. Forward and back, just by a little bit. And for the background... I just put a plane in the back and then give it a texture change animation just using ER vector flat which is this stuff right here I just put a flat black and flat blue and flat red just to give it that look and see it'll flash just like it did in the game It'll look like that once you're done. So there's Ronald McGuigas on the Hall of His Glory. And doing his little pokey theme. And little does he know that there is a giant Brio about to attack him. Dun 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 Stomp stomp stomp. <laughs> uh, that's basically it for that on the Devil's Machine. And as far as the fetus background goes, that looks like that. I just used this giant plane and put the material from the bitmap. Like, you know, I had it on here. I had it on the other version of Swift because I made I got this after I made Cross and Bound 2, so it wouldn't be on here. But you would just basically drag and drop this on there. And then you would do the advanced modeler zoom in or zoom out wherever the hell it is where is it oh that's right i didn't select anything Durr. you gotta select it then go to advanced modeler there it is say so edit mesh do the paint well in the other one's a paintbrush and this one is this edit texture mode then you would use the scale modeling thing to make it as big or as small as you want it like here's the original file you would probably put it on there you see one mcguy gas face just zoom inward and you'll see a million so that way it will show, show up like that but you want it to look like mcguy gas so i gotta do a bunch of control z's to get my mcguy gas thing back there we go i didn't want it to save that so anyways i had the wall and then I just added an animation to it just to make it move, you know, just moved it left, right, up, down, you kind of get the picture. And then I did the preview and just generated it and then exported the frames, kind of what I showed you in the other tutorials. So once I got all that information, I would go into Pentacle, and as you can see, here's the, the guy gas wall. Um, I just used a green screen effect. Uh, that's why it was green, because it'll show up like this once you're done. And then I use the green screen effect to get the uh, background.
background like this so that way I can light it up and do whatever I wanted to when uh, I actually made the movie because there was portions where I wanted it to flash and whatnot and I just gave it a little simple oh I can show you toolbox video effects and I used water wave advanced okay so for the waves I just put it on infinite progression zero for right now wave width I pretty much made it and we could say about that big they were pretty big waves though they weren't so high there we are so I just do that add keyframes go to like frame 10 make the progression 100 go to frame 20 make the progression 0 go to 30 make it 100 go to 40 or 39 whatever make it 0 go to 6 make it 100 well actually you're gonna want to make that zero and you're gonna want to make this about there and it'll give you that wave effect see that's a little bit fast but you gotta want you're gonna want to tinker with it and to get it just right but you want to make sure that one is zero for progression and six is the same exact thing so that way it'll blend in because what you're gonna do is copy this and then paste it over here kinda like this so that way it'll just continuously go so you want the transition from this one to this one to be smooth and look seamless so that's basically the wall now for the uh, actual battle after the uh, Devil's Machine I got this image right here off of YouTube, which you could probably find it on Google, but um, the Google image was a little bit small, so I just used this. And we're going to zoom in, and we're going to drag this out to about 16. And then you can just go right back to frame 1, or 0, I mean. And you're going to do video effect. And we're going to do the water wave again. Turn off the keyframes. we got to set the defaults first. I forgot about that. Uh, to set the defaults, I usually just put the progression at 50. And then make sure the waves are going the right direction. Which we're going to set that to 90 for the first portion. 90, not 0. Four wave width. We're gonna make that probably as big as the distortion we want to make it. Which uh, usually I keep it right about there, so that way the kind of looks distorted like it would on the game. Wave height. We're going to leave that at zero for now. So that way it looks just like this. So you're going to want that to be 50, 90, 41, 0 as your default 